am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. Hello there, and welcome back to my green bowl part two. Today, uh, I'm going to try microwaving to get rid of some of the, uh, or get rid of a lot of uh, the moisture that's uh, in it. At the moment, it weighs 350 grams, or near as damn it, 12 ounces. I must say that it's spent two days in a bag of shavings. But before we go to that one, I roughly did another little small bowl here and this one let me get my notes weighed in at 280 grams and after a series of bursts on the microwave it's down to 220 um, if you see here, there's a, a mark, uh, that was a crack that appeared on the third go on microwaving. The first two are done at two minutes, let them cool down. The third time was at three minutes when I took it out the microwave, a crack appeared. So I thought, hello, this is not going to go very well. Anyway, we thought we'd carry on. Um, I'll give it a few more bursts at two minutes. And then on the... Hold on a minute, I'll just get my notes. On the fourth microwave, the crack appeared. On the seventh, it started to close up. On the tenth, it closed up completely. And all we can see is like a little bit of sporting down where the crack was anyway I've carried on for a few more and in total it's had 15 bursts in the microwave it's had uh, 7 at 2 minutes 4 at 2 and a half 2 at 3 upside down 1 at 2 and one at three upside down and the weight now is 220 grams so that was that one this is the first bowl um, that I started and asked for some advice on microwaving now this one at the moment Weighs in at 350 grams, or nearest damn it, 12 ounces. So we'll put this in the microwave and take a few measurements as regards to weight. Must say that my, the scales are not accurate, so this is a bit of a uh, wing it job, but it'll give me a, a little idea on what's happening there. So there we are in the microwave, it's on defrost and I'm going to give it a first burst of two minutes. That's its <clears throat> first two minutes microwave and I can feel the dampness coming out of it already. So we'll pop it back in, I've let it cool down by the way. Um, another two minute burst. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, you can see the steam coming off of it. Let it cool down, then I'll give it another go at two minutes. There we 
are that's what it weighs at after after two two minute bursts in the microwave it appears to have lost a, a few grams in weight already as I say the the scales are not accurate I've just noticed that after the third burst uh, waiting for it to cool down a split has appeared and it, this time it's <coughs> gone right through so anyway I'll, uh, I'm going to carry on because shrinkage after a few more times hopefully that might close up again before I pop it in for the seventh burst we can see the weight there is at 310 grams after 10 bursts the weight stands at 280 grams in for the 11th burst now at 4 minutes Before it goes in for the 12th burst, the uh, weight stands at 270 grams. In for the 12th burst now, at 6 minutes this time. After number 14, that's a 6 minute burst. The crack appears to have closed completely, left a scar there and on the reverse side where it showed before completely closed, just a scar. After the 14th burst at uh, 6 minutes it weighs in at 230 grams again, it seems to be stable but there is obvious signs of signs of the bowl beginning to warp I think when I come to turn it I'm going to lose the natural edge on it I shall put it in now for the final one, number 15, and I shall give this an 8 minute burst, and we'll leave it at that. After the 8 minute burst, it started to scorch, uh, there is visible signs of warping on it. I must say, this piece was cut last week, it was extremely wet when I was... Uh, turning it I can feel the moisture hitting my arm the little bowl here this was cut sometime late summer um, just left to dry naturally it measures four and a half inches diameter uh, at, the, at the base about three quarters of an inch coming up to about half an inch thick this piece here about the same going back to this little one again there is no sign of any warping at all whether because this was a piece of crotch 
and it was a lot wetter maybe made it warp I don't know I think overall it's worth trying microwaving I shall turn this finish turning this one off and uh, we'll see what that looks like in a few minutes time Here we are with the bowl that I finished microwaving. Uh, brought it up to the lathe to finish it off, and then disaster flew off. As you can see, it it caught light. <laughs> oh, so um, if uh, if I'd uh, known better. I wouldn't have gave it quite so long on the final microwave. Um, at first it didn't appear too bad, I could see some scorching and um, it was only when I brought it up here I got as far as uh, cleaning up on the outside, uh, take some of the uh, uh, Threw it up a bit because it had warped and that was going okay and I thought hello we're going to leave some a little bit of the bark the way it was going and I thought I'd uh, I was taking it steady cranked the speed up a little bit and that's when it flew off so I'm going to attempt to repair this I know a lot of you wouldn't and chuck it away uh, I'm retired, I've got time on my hands, it's a miserable old day so, and I've got nothing else better to do so I'll see if I can repair it um, I shan't film it um, we'll come back to it if it is repaired if not it will get chucked away I managed to repair it. I've done the old plug in the middle job. Uh, there we are. It's a repair. Doesn't look too bad, I suppose. You know, it's got some uh, nice markings in there. There's a sort of a pinky tinge to it. Uh, the scorch there <laughs> and the burn there never mind the scorching set the bugger alight <laughs> okay catch you later I am the god of hellfire and I bring you fire 